Well, hello, Capricorns. Welcome back to Peony Lore. If you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome. This song uh, is going to serve for the week of the 9th through the 15th. And there's some information that is going to be additional coming through with the Oracle of the Radiant Sun, talking about the energies that are in your area this week from prior coming on in, which is important. Your angel is Archangel Anael. Anael is working this week uh, with the Archangel for Sagittarius, okay? So this angel wants to talk about your independence this week, okay? What does independence mean for you? Um, so it's possible that maybe you have Sagittarius very heavy on your chart or you're working with someone. You know, Sagittarius energy is... is is an awesome energy. Excuse me, I'm just moving my notes over. Let me just get to my, let me get to my quick notes I wanted to bring up here. Um, you don't really show up heavy in the chart personally until like the weekend. Um, and really it's only a couple days. It's like Saturday and Sunday um, as there's some transits that are happening. But this week is going to be really, really heavy for obviously the sun being in Leo, um, Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio. So I'd also pay attention to those if you have any of those very, very heavy in your chart. But again, um, what you're being uh, driven to this week is independence as the two are combining their energy and wanting to share. So let's first go in with the Oracle of the Radiant Sun to find out what those past energies are for you that you're carrying on into this week that is going to be supported for you. So let's just hit those real quick. We will go in with our astro deck here um, and clarify with the um, white sage tarot. We will, uh, <laughs> well, there you go. There's you, there's Capricorn right there um, with Mars energy. That is um, authority, being an authority in the situation or um, figuring out where your stance is with authority in a particular situation. What I was going to say is we'll also go in with the an angel card and we'll also go in with um, a, a magical dimensions card before I pull the sacred geometry card. They really wanted me to hit this one. <laughs> you, can't me you can't mess with this. This is Saturn in Sagittarius talking about fulfillment. Look at this gorgeousness that we have here. Um, independence, being an authority figure, right? So what I love about Capricorns is your will and persistence at the best of the moments that you have. What else? Your vision. <laughs> this is moon and Pisces. So there's something that you want. There's something that you've been calling in that something um, from the past is strongly with you this particular week. We may go back in with this particular card, but um, yeah. So Venus and Capricorn, authority, how you uh, consider that to be, fulfillment of something, and then your vision. So that's very much still in your present energy. Let's go ahead and move into your sacred geometry card for the week. <sighs> Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Love it. One more. Thank you, angels. Okay. We def <laughs> We have two energies um, for you, and the first energy that we have is to continue and nur to nurture and create. So I think Taurus um, just had this energy as well, but there's something that you have as far as a vision that you want to see fulfilled, and so they're talking about this creative energy with the sacral chakra. Um, to uh, continue to nurture what that is for you. The second card that you get here is a master card. This is card number nine. So this is um, at the end of a, a cycle to allow this next piece to come through. So the advice for you is to take hold because there's inevitable change that's coming for you. This is going to be awesome. Let's jump in to this reading, okay? So we're going in, like I said, with our astro deck. Let's put, why did my music stop? I like to have my music, but they stopped. Um, that didn't do me. Why? Thank you. I don't talk about the cut cards very often. Um, I don't really show them that often, but occasionally, um, they lend a little bit additional significance. There it is. <laughs> can't make this stuff up, guys. You can't make it up. 
this is a, this is going to be an extremely important week for you, Capricorn. Wheel of Fortune. So basically, what this means is what you want is coming for you this particular week. Um, there are some pretty important dates this week. Again, this is very heavy for Libra, Scorpio, Virgo, um, carrying on that gorgeous energy of Leo. Um, new moon that we just had, um, the sun and Leo just kind of shining its gorgeousness on anything that it kind of touches this week. Um, starting backwards, Sunday the 15th is going to be a very good day. Um, like I said, that you show up that day. Um, Saturday and Sunday, um, Scorpio energy uh, kind of changes. Wednesday is a super fantabulous day for a lot of people. Moon in Virgo, um, Venus in Virgo, um, you know, kind of going within and understanding um, where you're at with, um, I would say, your self-expression and how it is that you're going to come to the situation. Perhaps that's the authority that's coming in, you being um, truly in your element. And then Wednesday, uh, uh, Friday the 13th is, is really an awesome day too. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the weekend, I think is going to be fabulous for you. And then, like I said, Wednesday is going to be great. So let's go ahead and pull these cards down for you and see what's going on for our Capricorns this week. Here we go. Mmm. <laughs> luck in your independence that's just the details that's coming to me there's just luck there's a lot of luck that's gonna that's gonna hit you guys this week let's find it out well okay so the first card up is the page of wands that we have here on monday um page of wands is talking about travel um it also talks about the beginning of a new spark on tuesday we have the energy of the two of cups in the reverse position so there's a potential that um there's some communication that is coming that needs to be tweaked a little bit. Um, if you're in a romantic situation, this might be the day that you want to focus a little bit um, with that moon in Virgo, um, Mercury's in Leo, and it's got this opposition to what is happening with uh, Jupiter. Um, this could have something to do with your fulfillment, um, for sure. It doesn't necessarily have to be. We'll, we'll go ahead and, and continue to dig into it. Usually it just means when it's in the reverse position that two people have a little bit of opposing um, views on something, which can block communication sometimes. So just be aware of that. We'll, we'll, we'll continue on. Let's see what we have for our Capricorns on Wednesday, please. Wednesday's energy is the Three of Wands. It is having had made a decision and um, being ready to commit to that decision um, and taking the necessary steps, um, making something happen. No, numerologically, numerologically what's happening here is one, two, three. So these are the steps, okay? Let's see what we have for Thursday for our Capricorn. We have, I'm trying to think. Uh, so I'm just going back to this page of wands because I am getting travel. Oh, I'm getting heavy travel for some people. Now we do have the Leo uh, moon transitioning into the sign of um, uh, Virgo on this particular day. That's that's what's happening on Monday. And so that's Pisces information um, in uh, Neptune, which can be a lot of dreamy information for some people some of you that are tapped in tuned in turned on are going to find yourself with a new spark of inspiration because um this can be a very strong clairvoyant day for a lot of people on thursday what we do have is the ten of pentacles in the reverse position i don't necessarily find that to be um a negative what it what it is that we do have is will and persistence being challenged a little bit with where mars goes into its transit on this particular day okay so again there's authority that's coming into this particular situation, which could be challenging the independence that you want to have at this particular moment. Um, but Virgo stepping in on Monday is going to be able to provide a lot of that loving information that you need. Now, for some people, this independence means that there's going to be um, potentially a break um, in a uh, some sort of a relationship. Um, and that is what it is. I have to be honest with it. On Friday, though, uh, we do get this page of pentacles. So there is something new that is coming for you. Okay, this is you in your zone, I feel, with this newness. And if you have to shed something from the old in order to get to the new, then, you know, that's where we're at. Let's see where we're at with Friday and Saturday for you. Friday for our Capricorns, please. 
There we go. <laughs> Friday the 13th, we have the Nine of Cups, okay? This is wonderful. This is wish fulfillment. That's the fulfillment that comes in, I told you. So the fulfillment really does match up here um, uh, for you on that particular um, weekend. Let's see what we have for our friends. That's Saturday. Let's see what we have for Sunday. Here it is. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. Hallelujah. Here it comes. <sighs> Bottom of the deck. Chariot. Fast momentum. Karmic moments. Okay, um, this is this is for you. This particular moment, whatever is getting ready to happen this weekend, we're going to go in with our clarifiers here. They're asking you to continue to nurture and create, um, and take hold of this situation that's that's stepping forward. This is major Cancer energy that's showing up here, just to put the signage out there for everyone. Okay, let me move into the energy of the day. So we're going to go in and clarify first this Monday energy with the Page of Wands. Again, heavy travel for some people. You have a vision about something. You want to fulfill what this particular dream is for you. The Page of Wands is the spark of new communication, new action, okay? And travel. So yeah, in the past, you had some challenges or concerns with this energy of the star card trying to come in for you. Um, Maybe you were a little bit tired, you were a little bit restless about something that was happening. Um, again, the universe is, is asking you to be persistent and, and that's what's happening here. Maybe you were being challenged in an authoritative situation um, and where you wanted to put something out into the universe and someone else was like poo-pooing you a little bit. It's kind of what I get here. Not really, not really seeing it. Um, again, the other thing that I get for some people is that you weren't feeling very well um, and you know that had some things to do with it. Where you're at now, though, is you're in the major arcana of uh, Scorpio. This is the death card. This is change, transformation. You are in this active phase of it right now, right now, okay? You're transforming that. What's the outcome here? <clears throat> now, here we have the Wheel of Fortune that's in the reverse position. This makes a little bit of sense to me. Now, again, you get the Wheel of Fortune when we get on Sunday. Whatever this situation is, whatever this transformation is, it wasn't necessarily time for this wheel to show up for you on Monday, um, Jupiter, to try to come in and do anything, but it is going to show up for you. This takes us into Tuesday's energy, which is the Two of Cups in the reverse position. Like I said, this, uh, this challenging situation of communication not being its most solid um, opportunities for that to happen, though. Um, I think a lot of what's going on here is when the moon in Virgo has this trine with um, Neptune in Taurus, so that's, you know, physical, tangible, touchable things, those airy-fairy kind of dreamy things that need to happen as far as your um, landing. Um, I don't know why I keep saying landing. I just keep seeing travel for some people. But um, uh, challenging, your, challenging what it is that you want to have happen. Knight of Wands in a reverse position, a slowdown in communication. Um, it doesn't have to be, but we're but we've got a lot of fire signs, uh, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, from a romantic perspective, I have to jump into that one because they're showing me this. Um, if you were dealing uh, or were in a relationship with someone, there wasn't a lot of communication happening. You're making a decision to have a break. Um, I'm not saying break up, but I am saying a break, but it can be a breakup as well because whoever it is that you were dealing with, if they are that particular sign, it doesn't have to be, but the energy is that this person is kind of like wishy-washy a little bit and um, not ready to make a commitment. But let's see what is going on with um, current. So yeah, there's a healing that is definitely taking place. You're coming out of the situation. The five of cups in the reverse position is, is that there's a healing that you're actively in right now with this particular energy of this two of cups in the reverse position. And what is the outcome here? The outcome is the six of cups in the reverse position. So if this person was not making you happy, um, you're kind of done with it. There's no more... Um, there's no more beauty that you're seeing in the particular situation as it stands in the moment. Having had said that though, some of you are in a healing position because this person I'm feeling is coming from your past and wasn't really doing a whole lot for you. Um, 
and now you're ready to move on. So when the Six of Cups shows up in the reverse position, it is definitely um, the momentum of movement, okay? It's clearing. So that's not a bad situation to be in. But let's focus on what happens with this Three of Wands momentum that shows up on Wednesday. So the Moon in Virgo in conjunction with Venus in Virgo. Um, spiritually, you're meeting spirit halfway. You've made a decision. Um, you're in your healing phase. You know that something else needs to happen. And you're ready to move forward to do something new and different. What we have going on in the past was this Three of Cups moment. Um, the energy of... Um, it can be three people. It can be a third party type of a situation, meaning interference in some way, shape or form. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be cheating or anything like that, but it does indicate that there could have been someone else's energy that was very heavy and what it is that you had going on. But the three of cups in the upright position can also mean that you got to a point where you were recognizing the joy of a particular moment. <laughs> and there's an expansion that was going on with that. So we have three, three that's sitting here. Okay. That's universe supporting you. <clears throat> How about we flip the cards in the right way? <laughs> Hang on, here we go. So again, past ex uh, um, expansion of, of, of something new, maybe leaving an older situation or an old location to get to this new um, location that's going to be best for you. We do have the energy of the tower coming through, um, a surprise moment, some surprise momentum, a shakeup of some way, shape, or form. Um, when the tower comes in, that's Mars kind of doing a couple of different things. And so, again, that could have affected a little bit of your authority in the particular situation here, Capricorn, um, on this particular day. The surprise is all about what's going on with this Page of Wands. So this, is, this is the beginning of the whole dance here for this particular week, Page of Wands, this newness that you want. Then we ended up having the Hermit that shows up here, okay? And so when we get the Hermit, we have the energy of maybe being a little bit resi uh, resistant. <sighs> There's a... This is Virgo energy. We talked about this being extremely important this particular week. So when Virgo shows up here, that's, and I'm not saying that you're dealing with the Virgo, of course you could be, but the Virgo energy at its best, especially when it comes to Wednesday, again, Moon and Virgo in conjunction with Venus and Virgo. So. We're talking about perfection of service. <laughs> we're talking about perfection of service to self. We're talking about going in. We're talking about realizing that you are the light. When it shows up in the reverse position, in the, the way that I'm reading it here, with the base of the three, is that you have gotten all the detail that you needed from the universe in order to feel confident about moving forward. You are moving forward as the light, okay? So I'm not mad at that. Let's figure out exactly what this is going on on Thursday with this Ten of Pentacles now in the reverse position. So what we have going on is the moon transitioning into Libra. We have the moon in Libra, which has got uh, opposition to Chiron and Aries. Um, and then the moon in Libra also has this dance with Uranus, which is the energy of the fool trying to take on something new again with Taurus energy which is values and being the steady eddy so this day is like come to terms day with the ten of pentacles in the reverse position I'm feeling because it's not necessarily financial what I am feeling is that it's legacy it can have something to do with family it can have something to do with being independent or leaving the nest um, leaving the nest in some way shape or form um, traveling on to doing something different um, for yourself okay well let's see what we've got going on here Again, this is Thursday's energy. Um, Thursday's energy is the 12th, which is the last day of the big portion of the energy for what's going on with this um, new moon in Leo and um, the big 8-8. Eight, eight. So you still have an opportunity to utilize the, uh, the energy of this particular day. But let's see what's going on for our Capricorn with this um, 10 of Pentacles in the reverse position. Please clarify what was going on. Okay. Well, we have the sun um, in the reverse position on this particular day, all right? So we have Leo, um, uh, we have the sun, we have the Leo energy that is here. Um, it's possible that, uh, I'm gonna pull a couple more cards on that one. Let me get the, let me get the current energy. What I'm getting is um, burnt out. You're burnt out on something. Yeah. You were burnt out on something, and the current energy that you're in right now is the Eight of Swords, which is mini devil energy. I always call it mini devil because 
it's the energy of realizing that you can fly. <laughs> um, unbinding yourself from a situation or a, um, a, a, a thought process that is no longer serving you. No one is holding you back at this particular moment, which I think is really, really good. Okay. You're, yeah, I, some of you, it's, it's leaving the nest for sure. Striking out on your own. And where you end up here is... Um, Anytime you have a 10, you have the beginning of something new. You do have this Ace of Pentacles that is in the reverse position. Now, it's not necessarily bad. So what I'm getting is that you are releasing yourself from the identity of having to be tied to something else. And it doesn't mean that it's not coming in. I did say I was going to pull a couple more cards because that's a big one here. It just means that the timing of the situation on this particular day is not what you want. It's not the timing that you're trying to call into the situation. Okay. Again, we have to work on universal time, but not our linear clock, okay? Um, here we go. Yeah, and this is why. It's because you've got the seven of cups in the reverse position. You made a decision and you're pulling one thing down. And there's nothing wrong with pulling that one thing down. You need to marinate on what that one thing is so that you can start with one and go to two. Remember, I told you the first part of the week was one, two, three, okay? I'm going to pull one more on that one. Three of Pentacles. You want to start something new. You want to start a new foundation. You want to start a new collaboration with someone. This is the Three of Pentacles in the upright position, and that's okay. You're making a decision to start new. You're making a decision to do something that you want to have happen, regardless of what anybody else wants to think. Again, this is not bad. It's just that last piece of information um, that just kind of clarifies for some people that are leaving the nest. You've got something that you want to do. You've got a vision. And you're not going to let anything or anyone stop you, especially family. <laughs> I know how difficult that can be. Let's move forward. Friday the 13th, we now have this page of pentacles that's coming in. It's a, it's a very fabulous day. By the end of the day, moon uh, the moon enters into the sign of a Scorpio. And so what that lends is... Um, anything that's been on the subconscious, that eighth house energy, anything that's subconscious on the back of your mind, really uh, being allowing it to step forward. So this is the beginning of something new. Again, with two pages on the ground here, there's definitely something new that is showing up for you, okay? In your midst. Let's find out what's going on with Capricorn with this page of pentacles. Why? There it is. <laughs> you have the world card, okay? You have the world card in the upright. So this is about cycles. Um, endings and beginnings of cycles. This is where you're at in the energy right now with regards to that page of pentacles. You're in the king of wands, momentum, ready to move forward, ready to do this new thing very, very swiftly and fast, um, putting all energy into it, okay? King of wands is, um, he's kind of a no BS kind of a king. He shows up when he's ready to go. He's he's all excited about this new opportunity and he's putting all his resources into trying to make this thing happen. How this ends up is the energy of uh, Mercury. This is the magician. You having all the skills, all the talents, all the energies, all the resources that you need in order to bring forth this new vision, this new dream. Oh, here's your vision, okay? Um, love it. It's wonderful, I, I think that's great. So, moving forward again, we get this Nine of Cups energy on Saturday. So, Neptune and Pisces, that dreamy energy, there's another day of receiving a lot of big downloads uh, from the universe because it can be a very strong day for receiving content. There is a square with that scorpionic energy with um, Saturn in Aquarius. Now, Saturn wants to expand things and the water energy of what's going on with Aquarius right now is about a lot of spiritual content as well. So, I just want to put that out there. <laughs> um, but it is uh, also got this dance with the Leo sun that is there. So, your vision is going to start coming to fruition with that sun in um, Pisces on the day that it's supposed to be there. So, I love how this works out. <laughs> okay, let's, let's find out what we've got going on for our Capricorn. Just confirm. Yep, get the moon card. Um... This was subconscious information that you were bringing forth. This was a lot of creator, creative energy that was coming forth, okay? 
you will have received downloads and content at this particular day um, in order to um, have given you this next piece of information. Now, we have the night nine of pentacles that's in the reverse position. So Capricorn, usually what this means is that you might be a little bit ungrounded. You might be a little bit out of your element <laughs> on this day, a little bit, uh, because there's just this exuberance, right? There's this exuberance. The universe is trying to tell you to, you know, bring her down just enough. King of Cups in the reverse position is not negative. It's not a negative card. It's just a um, trying to make sure that you are in um, your best element as possible, being emotionally available to yourself uh, because you're so excited, like kind of like calm down, bring it down a level. We're going to take one more card on that one. Oops, not those. Let me shuffle. Um, I would be remiss if I didn't say that it is possible, potentially, that you're dealing with a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces as well. Got to put that out there. But more than anything, what I'm feeling is that, yeah, more than anything, what I'm feeling is that you are just overexcited about something and you just kind of need to calm down just a nub. People are going to find you potentially not emotionally available because of the excitement. You're not available for them because you're in it to win it for yourself. I'm not, I'm not, I don't think anything negative is about that. Yeah, look at this. You've come out of the hangman situation. You've received the information that you need from spirit. You've communed with spirit. You've gone in. You needed to pull away from other people because look, it satisfies what was going on in that day with the page of pentacles from that Friday. Love it. <sighs> Sunday the 15th, the lucky day. Lucky, lucky, lucky day. Sunday the 15th, wheel of fortune. Second chances, luck, expansion, okay, all in all different types of ways. Romance, um, although I'm not really getting romance out of this particular situation, um, it, it's it's <laughs> it's an expansion of whatever it is that you're calling into yourself. All the elements are there. So in the past, you had this challenge with thinking that you were trying to call in this Nine of Cups moment and you weren't really confident that you were going to get there. I believe the first entry point that we had here was the star card that was in the reverse position. You felt that either you weren't feeling it or you, were, you just weren't feeling confident about it at some particular moment. So the Nine of Cups was there to say you, you really were trying to call something into existence. And at the time, again, timing, it wasn't what you, it wasn't showing up the way, blah, blah, blah words. <laughs> it wasn't showing up when you wanted it. It had everything to do with this three of pentacles. Excuse me, I keep doing that. This three of wands in the reverse position, what you were willing to do at that particular moment. This is the day where you are also going to be able to not only receive additional content from spirit, but you're going to be able to communicate, articulate it out extremely well to other people. What your plan is, this is communication coming in very, very quickly, emails, texts, phone calls. This is also a lot of loving communication that is coming through and spirit says, yes, six of wands in the upright. You are coming into your own. Um, you might have come into a situation where you were dealing with, again, if it was a family member or somebody like that that was really trying to guide you in one specific way and you just weren't feeling it, it was what you weren't being heard is kind of what it is that I'm getting. You're being heard now, okay? At the bottom of the deck, what we have is the two of swords in the reverse position. You, you made your decision. You were not necessarily, again, being heard with this ace of cups that was in the reverse position, but what it is that you're doing is justified. We've got Libra energy all over this for you. This is your time. This is your time. There's a balance that's happening here for you in this particular situation, and I am here for it, okay? You've been sitting down and you've been thinking about this thing. You've been watering your garden. You've been putting everything into it. You want your fulfillment to show up, and it is here. You have walked away from something that no longer served you, and now you are back in your element. Here is you at the end of the day. So I'm sorry that was a little bit longer than what I expected, but I wanted to be as thorough as I possibly could. This is your time, Capricorn. This is your time. You are the boss of your situation. You are going to be completely independent from whatever the situation is um, that was going on in the past. I have to jump it back to relationship for some people at this particular moment. If you are leaving us a ship <laughs> of some way, shape, fashion, or form, um, then you are seemingly very justified in doing what it is that you need to do. If it's not a romantic relationship, that's fine. If you're leaving mom and dad's house because you're a college graduate and you're moving on to this next new thing or whatever the case may be, you are justified Capricorn in all the things that it is that you want. Love, love, love that. 
Okay. <laughs> I love it. I'm excited for you. Let's go in with um, a Magical Dimensions card. And let's see what other energies you can harness this particular week that are going to continue to support you. All right. Let's see. What, what is it that we have for our Capricorns, please? Oh, this is such a good one. Your, your burdens are just going to be completely dropped. You're done. You, you've, you've done everything that you needed to do and then some. There it is. It's the top one that wants to pop out. <laughs> Harmonic resolution. So we're talking about um, transmuting anything that would have been crazy energetically in your past that would have resulted in anger or frustration or anything else that had you challenged and had you maybe stuck to one point. Um, letting any of that go from an old authority figure that might have been creating some challenges for you, um, releasing that anger from yourself so that you could be the authority figure um, stepping forward into your own life here. This is card 19, reduces down to 20, which is a two, which is right place, right time. Okay, again, timing from the universe, harmonic resolution. I love this for you. This is beautiful energy. And one last card from the angels. What is the practical advice for our Capricorn this week? Top card, thank you. Okay, listen deeply. So two, two meanings that are gonna pop out here. When you have whoever is your shipmate, <laughs> um, say what it is that they feel like they need to say to be heard. Listen intently, listen intently for their feelings. Don't speak, let them say what it is that they need to say, okay? The other thing is, is that some of you are gonna be tuning in um, very, very intently. Listen intently to what the universe has to tell you this week. Don't doubt your, um, don't doubt the messages that are coming through from your spirit team because they are trying to guide you. Now let's go into our sacred geometry. I can already tell you that this is sacral chakra. This is creator energy. This is card number eight. This is this whole situation with this 8-8 eight, eight Lionsgate that is talking about your four walls, your next new level of stability, your nurture, nurturing that idea, creating this next new step for yourself. But the card that we're going to take a look at is this master card, this take hold, because there's inevitable change that is coming. Um, how about if I flip to the right page? <laughs> I'm excited for you because whatever is happening, it's, it's, it's time, right? So... If you want to take advantage of doing some mantra this week just to work with this energy, then here is the mantra for you. I'll hold the card up. I am able to build firm foundations in my life. Dude, hello, you can't even. I am able to build firm foundations. I just talked about that. That is exactly what this is. Um, sorry. <laughs> I am able to build firm foundations in my life while remaining balanced and harmonized in my everyday life. I am able to build firm foundations in my life while remaining balanced and harmonized in my everyday life. I am able to build firm foundations in my life while remaining balanced and harmonized in my everyday life, and so it is. So we're talking about the phoenix rising from the ashes in one aspect, um, transmuting, transitioning um, into the next level of what it is that they're supposed to do. To gain a full life here on earth, we must awaken ourselves onto a conscious level that allows us to see the depth of the layers of not only our soul, but that of our surroundings, which is why I feel travel is coming up for a lot of people, but it could just be traveling into the next phase of your life. But I do see a plane, so someone's rolling, okay? That's fine. If you want to take advantage of any crystal uh, medicine during this particular time, then garnet would be a good one if you have access to that. Mangano calcite looks very similar to rose quartz, but it's a little bit more peachy. That's a wonderful, wonderful stone. Tiffany stone and also Shiva lingam, which is no bullshit because one of the biggest um, uh, stones that comes up with this card for sacral chakra, um, taking advantage of your sexual energy, is also the Shiva lingam. You should research that one um, if you don't know anything about the origin of that stone and why that's important. <laughs> it's fabulous. Um, so anyway, Capricorn, I hope that you were able to resonate with a large component of that. If you did, I would really, really, really appreciate a like, um, comment, share this out to someone else that you think would be a beneficial recipient to the way that I deliver content. Um, if you didn't, please make sure that you're taking a look at your sun, moon, rising, and north node to get a full, 
full picture. And again, look for the announcements with me talking about my new website coming up, uh, including me offering these different stones because I have a mojo. I have all the stones. Let me just tell you, I have all the stones. And what I'm going to be carrying in my store is going to be a lot of copy, uh, uh, copycats, duplicates <laughs> of what it is. I have many of the stones that we talk about here for very reasonable prices. I'm very surprised to find out how much fakery is out there. Um, and so when people are trying to gravitate towards this crystal medicine and they're getting crap, well, this doesn't work for me. Well, yeah, it's because you've got a piece of plastic instead of a real stone. Anyway, having had said all that, I will share that information with you when the website is live. But if you're looking for a personal reading, please make sure that you take a look at the description box below um, to book in with me. I can peel back the layers and get right down into your specific energy. I would love to be able to offer that service for you. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing so that you can be notified of the next awesome details that Spirit wants to deliver to you. Having yet said that, thank you very much, Capricorn. Many, many, many blessings, and we will talk to you next week. Bye for now.